I got these mysterious women that you cannot see that's in a whole other part of the world and I'm here I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you how amazing these mystery women are now I'm not going to tell you I was over there tricking I was over there spending money I was over there spending time with prostitutes I was over there in, in massage parlors wow what the fuck I'm not going to tell you that nor am I going to tell you Let's check this video clip out, and then I'm going to come back and give my commentary. Let's go. I'll just go overseas, get your passport, SYSBM stuff, it's some bullshit. I'm about to tell you how. How convenient and how easy is it for men to tell you that all these women in America, all these women in the West ain't no good. They're hypergamous. They, they, they monkey branching. The woman's nature. They, they are hoes and sleeping around. The women that you see every day at work, at the mall, at the store, at the gym, everywhere. Oh, there's something wrong with all of them. But I got these mysterious women that you cannot see that's in a whole other part of the world and I'm hit I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna tell you how amazing these mystery women are now I'm not gonna tell you I was over there tricking I was over there spending money I was over there spending time with prostitutes I was over there in, in massage parlors I'm not gonna tell you that nor am I gonna tell you how infrequently I'm over there cuz I'm only over there a weekend maybe a week two, three times out the whole year, maybe 10, 15 days out of all the days in the year. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that I've only interacted with a couple of women because let's be real, these dudes that do this are unsuccessful with women in the States. So as soon as they go overseas and find a woman that's paying them any kind of attention, they get laser tunnel vision on that one. So it's not even like they're interacting with a large population of the women in these other countries in the first place. On top of that, most of them don't marry the women. Hardly any of them bring the woman back to the States with them. So here it is. I'm telling you, uh, all these great women in these other places, even though I've only met a few women, and while I'm dealing with them, I'm tricking and spending money on them, and I will never bring them back, and I will never marry them, and I will never get in a relationship with them, but I'm telling you that this is a viable solution? Bro, it's a scam. You know how this go overseas, get your passport, SYSBM stuff, it's some bullshit. I'm about to tell you how. Tell us how. How convenient and how easy is it for men to tell you that all these women in America, all these women in the West ain't no good. They're hypergamous. They, they, they monkey branching. The woman's nature. They, they are hoes and sleeping around. Females are so fucking evil. They gather in groups, especially the ones that they think they're so fucking amazing. It's all about the dysfunctionality of some women in the United States. Not all, but some. The women that you see every day at work, at the mall, at the store, at the gym, everywhere. Oh, there's something wrong with all of them. Maybe some of those women are married. Maybe some of them are lesbians. Some of these women have hot girl summers and only thinking about college. They're not thinking about men, right? But they're not interested in relationships, right? What do men do who want to find wives and long-term companionship but they supposed to wait around for these women for them to decide whether they want to accept the proposal nah fuck that but i got these mysterious women that you cannot see that's in a whole other part of the world and i'm here i'm going to sit here and i'm going to tell you how amazing these mystery women are mystery women that you can't see we're dealing with social media. This guy's delusional. Because when you go on TikTok, you can actually see the guys with their women, with their wives or long-term companions, right? Yeah. So I don't know what he's talking about. Now, I'm not going to tell you I was over there tricking. I was over there spending money. I was over there spending time with prostitutes. I was over there in, in massage parlors. I'm not going to tell you that. He's referring to sex tourists. You got sex tourists over here. You got the passport bros over here. Nor am I going to tell you how infrequently I'm over there. Because I'm only over there a weekend, maybe a week, 
two, three times out the whole year, maybe 10, 15 days out of all the days in the year. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that I've only interacted with a couple of women. First of all, most passport bros have money. Most passport bros go overseas three weeks to two to three months. Because let's be real, these dudes that do this are unsuccessful with women in the States. So as soon as they go overseas and find a woman that's paying them any kind of attention, they get laser tunnel vision on that one. So it's not even like they're interacting with a large population of the women in these other countries in the first place. Not true. Some guys are socially awkward. Some guys are not. Some guys are socially awkward. They can't get women in their country and they get lucky and land on a woman from a developing country or whatever and she's willing to deal with him and accept his proposal and get along with him good for him that's that's good what's wrong with that on top of that most of them don't marry the women hardly any of them bring the woman back to the states with them that is not true shout out to fred and friend tv this is a brother who brung his Filipina wife, she's from the province, he brung her to the United States of America. I can tell you this, that the more serious you are about um, the situation, the more uh, positive response you'll get for us, uh, obtaining a Filipino wife, you know, and, and building a relationship. Because you gotta put in the work. That's a fact, but wait. This is not the only couple I wanna show you. I'm gonna show you one more couple. Y'all ready? Let's go. Land of Roses, Journey of Marriage, Filipino and Black American. Let's see, it took about three or four days for to do it. Okay, all right, now, let me show you how to work this. All right, Land of Roses. This is six years ago. They're still together. They have kids together. Look, the last time she vlogged was like nine days ago. See that? Right. But the guy on TikTok is saying that, what? What is he saying again? We don't bring our wives to our countries? This proves him wrong. Let's carry on. So here it is. I'm telling you, uh, all these great women in these other places, even though I've only met a few women, and while I'm dealing with them, I'm tricking and spending money on them. We're tricking and spending money on them. Same thing in the United States. What? That's what, what, tricking and spending money, a.k.a. going on dates, right? You got to vet the woman to pick out which one you think is the right one for you, right? And I will never bring them back and I will never marry them and I will never get in a relationship with them, but I'm telling you that this is a viable solution. Now, we just saw what he is saying is not true. Senseless rhetoric. Bro, it's a scam. It's not a scam. It's only a scam if you don't pay attention to the red flags. And it's only a scam if you're desperate. It's only a scam if you don't vet the right woman. It's only a scam if you don't have money and you're trying to get a wife and you can't support the woman. Right? It's only a scam if uh, you get played. But then again, how many guys in the United States are getting scammed by women in their own country? Hmm. Why? Why the hell is he so concerned about what men are doing? Anyway, leave a comment below. See you guys next time.